I don't travel much. I would start my travel story with, do you travel very much? Do you travel very far? Because most of my travel is in daydreams or vicariously through others. In fact, Facebook gives us a vicarious world of others, but that's not the vicarious I mean. I mean I have a family member that travels. South Africa, Samoa, Europe, the various United States locations, lives in New York City. But the travel moment that felt a little bit more personal than vicarious happened when the tsunami hit American Samoa and the communications was out for more than 48 hours. And there was no way of knowing what happened to that small island. The sad story of the small island is that the emergency system is not up to par. And what happens during the emergency signaling on that small island the smallest island of Samoa, because there's multiple islands, and he was on the smallest, is that all of the folks on the island literally go from the low side of the island to the mountain side of the island. And they're dispatched up to the mountain side. And they have grown up with this being an occurrence, and they know what to do. But during this tsunami, a school bus was on the lower side of the island and it did not make it, the notice. And an island with a community of 600 people losing a school bus of children has a tremendous impact on the community, life-shattering impact. So living vicariously through my traveler is not always great stories. Some can be very sad like that one. He made it to the top of the mountain and he could tell how he was on the back of a truck and it was bumpy and um, the people that were in the truck were very glad and clutching each other and glad to be making it up the, the mountain. So I don't travel very far. I travel through others. But I hope that in tonight's telling of travel stories, we get to hear travels that you've actually taken, or maybe stories you've heard from others of their travels, if we go that far. Um, we define travel very, very broadly, so it can be pretty much anything. Anyone has a travel story, and anyone in Wallingford has another chance to share their travel story or another chance story on June 19th. We look forward to seeing you then. And I will now leave the stage and someone else will come up and share about travel.